Hello, this is Tolfman Tribe for Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a rain system, hail system, or a snow system in Blender by using this add-on called the Weather Effects add-on. It's simple, but it's pretty effective and it looks really great when you set the parameters where they're supposed to be. And I'll link, leave a, a download link below this video so you guys can download it and check it out for yourselves. But it's the same process when you download it onto your system in terms of installing it in Blender. Just go to Edit and Preferences. Install, navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that. And then once that's done, let's type in Weather, put a check in the box, and you're set to go. Now, it comes with uh, collision obstacles in it already, so we're going to delete the default cube by pressing delete on our keyboard. Get rid of that. We're going to expand our tool panel here. You can see that it's right here. It's pretty straightforward and pretty uh, well set up, and it's pretty uh, effective and efficient. Now we're going to, let's see, let's add, uh, let's do hail first. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that when you do this, you use this system, it uses a particle system that sets it up in Blender. And it's best that you use EV, if you have a strong graphics card on your system, computer or laptop, you can use cycles. But EV is faster and you still get kind of the same results in it. So we're going to start with hail first. We're going to, we can type in the name if you want to. It's, it's actually good to type in the name of your system just to keep track of uh, if you have a lot of systems in your uh, scene. So left click in that parameter right there, that, that slot. We're gonna type in hail, H-A-I-L, enter. And let's put a check in this box for heavy hail and add weather system. Now it automatically adds weather system uh, where the cursor is and we want the hail system or the system to start up from the top. So we're going to left click on our move gizmo and we'll see all these arrows come up on top of our mesh. And left click and drag on the blue arrow to the z-axis and drag that up. And when I held to fall on top of something it has these uh, parameters here. Obstacles, collision obstacles, we'll left click on the plane. And press S now keyboard to scale this up. And we're going to press play and see what happens. We got a pretty good uh, hail system happening. Let's pause it and render it out so we can see what that looks like. So I have 12 on our keyboard. And it shouldn't take long, and there we go. And you can see that it's already applied particles or a texture. Sorry, sorry about that. It's applied material to our spheres here to give it that appearance of actual hail, which is great. You don't have to go into the parameters or the texture settings. To apply those ourselves are already applied, so that's good. So that looks great. And let's go back to the beginning. And then let's delete our um, emitter system here. Because so, we want to add, we want to try out the rain and the snow. So let's press delete on our keyboard. And then let's go with snow. Let's left click on that. And add the weather particles. And once again, it sets the emitter right on top of our plane where the cursor is, left click and drag on the blue z-axis, drag it up. And if this happens, don't worry about that, it's not really a big deal. I guess we chose the wrong one. We chose the plane as opposed to the... Did we choose the plane or we chose the emitter? Let's press place so that happens. So yeah, we did. Control Z twice. And let's do that again. We chose the plane as opposed to the emitter, so let's... Uh, Click off of heavy hail. We've chosen snow. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Left click on the name item uh, section and type in snow. Enter. And we're going to zoom in with our mouse wheel. We pivot by holding down our middle mouse button and pivot around our scene and add where the particles. Hopefully, this is already pre selected. As you can see, it's got the orange outline around our emitter. Left click and drag on the z-axis, pull that up. Now obviously with snow, it's going to come down a little bit slower than the hail because it's lighter and has more air in the uh, particles themselves. So let's, let's uh, press place how that looks. And yeah, it flutters down like snow. 
let's uh, pause that and press F12 see what it looks like and this has also had material added to it you can see some of them are blue some of them are off white but yeah that looks great and that's what we want when it comes to snow fluttering down from the sky onto a plane in our scene now the last big one would be the rain and the reason why I did the rain last because you have to do a little bit more of a setup with it in order to uh, get the right effect and I want to mention also that when it comes to this add-on it, it only works for 2.92 to 3.0 in Blender anything below 2.92 won't work anything above 3.0 it won't work it just works within that range when it comes to the add-on itself now, like I said before, let's, let's test out the rain because the rain, you have to do a few more settings to get the real effect when it comes to the rain. Let's go back to our first, uh, to one in our timeline there. Have our uh, emitter selected and press delete on our keyboard. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, uncheck the box for snow. Check the box for rain. Ch change the name of it from snow to rain. Enter. It keeps a log of all the emitters, of all the uh, particle systems. That's that's cool, I guess. And since we have our range selected, let's press Add Weather uh, Particles. And with our system highlighted, we're going to left click and drag. And with the rain, it's going to come down not as slowly as the snow, but faster, and probably just as fast as the hail. So let's press Play on our keyboard. Let's see what happens. And yeah, that's what happens. It comes down like range. So let's left click on our uh, play button to just pause it and press F12 to see what it looks like. F12. And you can see it has the uh, transparent rain particles applied to it. But the problem with it is that it just looks like balls pretty much falling out of the sky as opposed to streaks, which is what rain actually looks like. To fix that, we're going to have to apply the motion blur to. Uh, the scene here. Now let's pivot our our window here. Let's go back to our first frame in our scene. We'll left click and drag this so we can reposition our window here. We want to have a shot, <coughs> excuse me, a shot of our scene looking into the distance so we can get a, a real sense of the streaks of rain coming down from the sky. So we're going to hold down the middle mouse button and pivot. And once we're satisfied with the way uh, our view is positioned here. Let's click on view, go down to align view, and go to align active camera view. Let's left click on that, and this we have we, this is this, the uh, angle we were wanting. We're going to click on our light here and turn it from a spotlight to a sunlight. We want more light hitting the uh, the particles. And turn the strength down to 500. Left click in that parameter there and type in 500. Zero, zero, enter. And now we're going to change the, we're going to apply some motion blur to our scene here. We're going to go to our render tab, left click on that icon there. And then for motion blur, just left click in that box or put a check in that box to uh, apply a motion blur. You can keep the settings the way they are. We're going to press play and then see what we get. So what we're, why we're doing this is that we want actual streaks of rain coming down from the sky onto our plane. So we have that there. We're going to press F12. And there we go. That's what we're supposed to have, not those just those little balls uh, appearing in the scene. We want the streaks to happen, and that's what we have. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the rain system in Blender. And if you're wanting to... You know, put a model in here and have the system interact with the model. Uh, let's bring in Suzanne here. Let's go back to our first frame and press Shift A, mesh, and apply the monkey. Let's pull up on the z-axis. Let's press W to shade smooth. So you want the particles to bounce off of Suzanne. Let's say this is probably a car in your scene, or a mountain, or a house. You want you're wanting to apply the rain system, have it interact with models in your scene. What I do is that I click on uh, the collision object that's already uh, in the 
rain system. Let's click on that. And I just transfer the particle systems from here to here and just eyeball it pretty much. So that's been left clicked on. Let's go to our uh, physics properties. You can see that collision has been activated. And these are the settings for the collision of the plane. We're going to apply that to Suzanne here. And I don't know, there should be a way you can apply uh, physics settings from one mesh to another, but from the ways that I've been doing it, it hasn't worked, so we're just going to do it manually. Just going to left click on Suzanne and apply a collision to her also. And we're going to click left click back onto our mesh, and the damping 0.7, randomize is 0.15, friction is 0.5, randomize for that is 0.25, and that's pretty easy to remember that. Let's, let's, let's left click on Suzanne. And type in 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.15, and if you can't remember, just click back on the mesh, see the uh, parameters there, what they're, where they're set at. Left click back on Suzanne, uh, let's, I think it was 0 0.25, enter, that was 0 0.5, 0 0.25, okay, 0 0.5, 5, enter, click on randomize, 0 0.25, enter and then for the damping it's just 0.1 and 0.2 and that's already been applied we're going to press play and see what happens and yeah they're bouncing off Suzanne too so yeah that's how you can uh, apply models into your scene with the and have it interact with the rain system inside of blender or the weather, weather effects system inside of Blender. So we've tested the rain, the heavy hail, and the snow, and they all work pretty good. They all have uh, materials applied to them. Once again, with the rain, you have to make the adjustments with motion blur in order to make the rain look more realistic. And once again, thank you guys who have watched the this tutorial and the other ones I've put out. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are, are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.